All right, everybody, welcome back to the Toy Man's Barn and Grill. Today, again, of course, I've already did a uh, Hamburg video, but what the fuck? I'm going to do another one. You know why? Because I can. And as you can see, I had my haircut done today. Look at that. Yeah, I've got a nice and cut and short. I just got to get rid of this gray shit. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't fucking old. Guess what? I'm living life to the fullest. I don't give a fuck. All right, back to my fucking hamburger shit. Welcome back when it's time to mix everything together. Right now is what I'm going to show you and flip the camera right around. Hopefully this works. Hey, what the hell? What do you know it works? I got the Hamburg mix mixture there. We've got some maple bacon all diced up and ready to go, which is going to go right in here. I've got some onion and uh, actually some garlic that I pulled out of the uh, dill pickle jar and diced up too, so I've got some of that. We're also going to add one egg to hold everything together. And then maybe two or three teaspoons of bullseye Guinness barbecue sauce. Of course, Guinness, you know, they've been like, just like the beer. And then we're going to add some Greek spice, roasted garlic and pepper, some Cajun, of course, just to, you know, give it a little bit of heat. We're also going to do the uh, Italiano uh, spice as well. So... I'm going to start mixing this up, and then we'll come back after it's all mixed up. All right, we're back. So basically, is what I've done. I've already got the mixture already started. I haven't added any Guinness or uh, the uh, the egg yet, but you can see all the spices are in there. So I used a uh, spoon, one of these spoons, a teaspoon. I put in one teaspoon of Italian. One teaspoon of roasted garlic, two teaspoons of Cajun, and one teaspoon of Greek so far. Now is what I'm going to do is crack this egg open, and then I'm going to put in three tablespoons of the Guinness barbecue sauce and mix it up. And then we'll come back to see how the mixture looks. All right. We're back. So I just got done mixing everything up, and look at that, eh? Like... Three tablespoons of barbecue sauce, one egg. That's going to hold everything together. And, of course, I'm going to add just a little more Cajun. Why? Because I can. Because I just want a little bit more. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more. That should be enough. And then just a wee bit more Italian spice. Just a little sprinkle. Good enough. A little more sprinkle of the roasted garlic and pepper. Just a wee bit more. Not a whole lot. More. That's enough. And of course, a little bit more of uh, uh, the Greek spice. In we go. All right. So I'm going to mix that up. Then I'll start making the patties. And you can see that that bowl was full of bacon. So I'm going to mix this up and have a look at how much bacon is actually in there. And I might add the rest of it, but I might not. But when you add bacon in with your Hamburg mixture and stuff, when it cooks, you're going to get that, and especially when you use maple bacon, you're going to get that flavor all through the meat, which is going to come out really, really nice. So, all right, we'll be back in a bit. All right, everyone, we're back. So, out of one pound of hamburger, I got four burgers, Okay. So I make my burgers nice and thick, eh? and I like thick burgers. And there's the rest of the burgers already made, and you can see all the onion and bacon all through that. You know, there's some roast, and there's some dill garlic in there too as well, so it's going to be good. All the spices that are in there, all the spices that I use, the Italian, the roasted garlic, the Cajun, Cajun, blah, blah, blah. The Greek, and of course, you know, the good old bullseye Guinness barbecue sauce. And then, of course, you know, well, that, oh, sorry, that's for me to drink, my bad. Anyways, plus an egg. Plus, I've cooked up a pound of fucking bacon, too. So there we go. And this is the, the bacon that's left over, which I'm planning on to use tomorrow for when I make myself a toasted Western sandwich. Anyways, this is how the burgers are looking. We're going to go out and fire up that freaking grill.
the grill lid opened up, get the gas turned on, let the gas build up for a bit, and then we're going to go poof, ignite it all. There we go. We'll get that warmed up. And once that's warmed up, I'll get everything on that freaking grill and we'll start cooking away. We'll be back when it's time to put that crap right on the damn barbecue, okay? Later. Or I should say, back in a bit. All right, everyone, I just got done putting the burgers on the grill. We're going to cook these at a very low heat. You can see how low the heat is. I'm going to leave the, leave the lid open for a little bit just to get these started. And then I'll start flipping them over, close the lid, get them cooked up. And, of course, I'll, be hooking, uh, I'll also be cooking a jumbo wiener on here as well. But these will take longer to cook because I like to cook everything slow. And, of course, we got some asshole with some fucking saw doing shit. But anyways, but we're going to have cheeseburgers, too. So the two different types of cheese that I'm going to have is uh, some nice medium cheddar cheese. And I've already sliced the end off of this because I'm getting ready to cut this up. And this is some Black Diamond Monterey Jack with jalapeno cheese. Now this cheese is really nice and smooth and creamy. Really good cheese and this melts really nice. So this is what I'm having on my burger. I also have this on my bagel. I have a bagel for breakfast every morning and this is the cheese I use. And it's like, mmm, this is really good stuff. So, anyways, <clears throat> There you go. Now we'll be back in a little bit. When it's almost time to serve. Oh yeah, by the way, did I forget to, to say that we are having some um, potato salad along with it. And then of course the maple bacon is in the potato salad along with other good stuff. So, mm -hmm. good side dish for cheeseburgers. Back in a bit. Alright, we're, we're back everyone. I just opened up the cheese of the Monterey Jack or jalapeno cheese. I want to show you exactly how they have the jalapenos, peppers, through the cheese, which is a really good cheese. Smooth and creamy. So here's the white cheese. As you can see, all the jal jal excuse me, jalapeno peppers are all the way through it. And of course, I got myself a chunk. All the way through it and this is a really nice nice cheese and it melts nicely too as well and you can see I've got all my pieces cut for my burger I've got all the pieces cut up for for the people who want uh, just cheddar cheese and this is a medium uh, cheddar cheese that I use which is really nice excuse me for sniffling but this is phenomenal cheese. So if you ever want to go out and buy some good cheese, there we go. Look at that. Black Diamond, Monterey Jack with with the jalapeno peppers in it. Really good cheese. Nice and smooth and creamy. Alright, that's enough of the cheese that I'll talk. We're going to go back out and check on the burgers. Because I did close the lid. Oh yeah, they're starting to cook nicely. Now I'm just going to check. Underneath, and not quite yet. Don't need to flip these yet. I want to get these cooked. And then I'll flip them over. So we'll close the lid back down. And I will check these every three minutes. And the reason why I chuck them every three minutes because I don't want to burn the shit out of them, right? I want them nice and juicy. I want all the flavor there. And I don't cook them well done. I cook them medium rare to medium well. So that's, that's how I do my shit, okay? So I'm going to go back in and grab another beer. 
and uh, watch my burgers. Back in a little bit, people. All right, everyone, we're back just in time to flip the burgers. Look, look at all that stuff coming out. Look at all the uh, juice and everything. It's just sitting right on top. Now we're just going to flip these over. And look, play that, eh? Like real nice. Flip them over. See how everything, everything is held together with the egg, with the barbecue sauce, and everything. They're coming up really nice. Slide under gently. Just flip them over. Bingo. There we go. Now, the Hamburg bun that I use, I like to use Kaiser buns. And here are the Kaiser buns that I like to use. Bingo. Now, we're going to go walking into the uh, house. We're going to grab the Jumbo Wiener. Because <clears throat> little Miss Emily doesn't like hamburgs, but she likes steak. But, you know, it's the same thing. You know, hamburgers, ground up steak. But anyways, it is what it is. So we got the nice Jumbo Wieners right here. We're going to throw a jumbo, uh, jumbo Wiener on there. And then, of course, we got some nice sesame seed buns. For the jumbo wieners, there we go. And we're gonna start putting that uh, dog on. Just gonna slide everything down on the barbecue a bit more in order to make accommodations for the big, fat, juicy weenie wiener, you know. So there we go. So I'm gonna start sliding everything down, try and make room. Which you're gonna need a bigger freaking grill, that's for sure. But anyways. All right, try to do this with one hand. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna happen. I'll just throw it on pause. Okay, we got the juicy jumbo wiener on here now because you know as they cook they do expand and swell up and get bigger. And these are all beef wieners. I don't like the other wieners. I want all beef wieners. So those are the wien wiens I buy. Everything is just looking at it. It's smelling. Oh, it's phenomenal really smelling good oh yeah and then of course I will toast these buns on the grill and basically when I melt cheese I will toast the inner side first flip the buns over start toasting the outside of the bun and then of course lay my cheese on the bottom of the bun that way when I pull the burgers off I put them right on top of the cheese and the burgers will help melt that cheese nicely that way, when you put the top on, you go to pull it off, you're not pulling the cheese off uh, the meat itself. It's already still there. And put whatever toppings you want on there. Your mustard, your relish, your ketchup, your onions, lettuce, tomato, whatever you want on, on for your uh, fixings, on your nice juicy burger. So, back in a little bit. All right, we're back. It's time to check on everything. We're going to check on the wiener, check on the uh, burgers. Oh yeah, the burgers are pretty much done now. Just going to flip that wiener over a bit more. Yeah, that wiener is, is cooking nice. So it's basically while that's cooking, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and grab the uh, buns. And I'm going to put them forward on the grill to get these started, these toasted. Uh, it's, like I said, it's on a very low heat, so you don't have to worry about uh, burning your buns or anything. You just have to keep an eye on them. Get that going. And get the hot dog bun on. And basically, I just toast the hot dog, the bun on either side. And I want to make sure the inside's soft, but I don't leave these on for too long. Uh, here, I do flip them around. And then I'll throw the cheese on the bottom ones and start getting that cheese melted. And then we'll start putting the burgers on and of course <clears throat> we've got all the fixings we got the cheese that's going to get melted we've got the pickles and tomatoes and then of course we've got the uh, potato salad which is really nice homemade potato salad along with some mustard and ketchup and if you want relish or lettuce that's up to you but uh, yeah we've got everything good and ready to go so we'll be back and what Hang on, I better check the buns. I just want to make sure they don't stick either. And sometimes the buns do have a habit of sticking to the grill. So we're just going to kind of go underneath and keep them loosened up. 
and just chuck them periodically see how, see how they're toasting see how that's starting to toast nicely now and uh, we'll chuck that one and then we we move them around so we'll take the uh the front and move to the back the backs to the front and we just we'll just keep moving them around just so they're not staying in one spot and of course it's time to flip that one so it's a little warmer here so yeah so everything's coming out real nice and looking good then of course you know you got to have something to wash it down with so i went out and got some i got myself some miller genuine draft beer which is premium beer and brewed in the u.s of course and it's uh what is it uh 4.7 alcohol but it's a good tasting smooth beer i like i like that along with my guinness but for this weekend i decided oh, what the hell i haven't had this in a while so there we go all right back in a bit all right we're back now we're gonna i've, I've already moved the uh, the buns around now let's check uh let's see that's coming up toasted now i'm gonna flip these over let's toast it nicely this one's toasted nicely. Now I'm going to grab my cheese. And basically put the cheese right on the bottom. Close the lid for a little bit. Uh, get that cheese started to melt. Right in the middle. And of course myself. You know, I'm a cheese lover, so I like lots of cheese on my burgers. So, there we go. And we're going to make, make room for the last piece of cheese. And that's pretty much done. And then we're going to check the dog. <clears throat> the dog's looking good. It's starting to split. Dog's cooking nicely. The burgers are cooking nicely. So, yeah. It's almost time for Bon Appetit, everyone. So, we'll be back when it's time to serve it. All right, everyone, it's time to serve up the video. Serve up the video. Serve up the food. That's why you see how the cheese is starting to melt nicely, just just like that. The barbecue is now off. And Emily, come here with your plate, please, so I can give you your hot dog. I'm going to try and do this one-handed, so you won't have to hold your bun open in order for me to insert your wiener. Hold the bun open. Put the bun in. Yep, just hold that open. There we go. There's your bun. There we go. There's your hot dog. Now all I'm going to do is just put the burger right on top of that cheese. Just like that. And it's going to help melt it even more. <clears throat> and if I can have a small plate for the uh, other two patties, that'll be great. Uh, because you're only going to be able to eat one of these. Well, I know I will anyways, so... There's that one. There's that one. And we're just going to slide that off. Put it on the plate. Slide that one off. I think that one's yours. Put it on the plate. Put on the plate. And then, of course, I'm going to put the... You know, because later on I might get hungry and I might want to uh, heat up another burger and throw it in the microwave and melt some cheese on it. And away I go, I've got myself another burger, right? So there we go. So that can go inside the house. That's inside the house. And then, of course, now I'm going to put all the fixings on mine. So this is what I mean by by putting the cheese on the bottom and the patty on top. So that way when you take the lid, it's not pulling the cheese and stuff off. So I should unwrap this, but I'm going to try and do everything with one hand. Because I do want some tomato and I do want some pickles. So I'm going to be a little bit generous with uh, the tomatoes for me. Because I'm going to put three on like that and of course I love pickles too so you know you gotta throw that you gotta have the pickles on you on your cheeseburg now I like some mustard so I am gonna throw a little mustard on here 
And of course, I'm going to throw everything on, on the lid. And look at that. There we go. And then I'm going to throw some ketchup on. And of course, give myself some nice uh, potato salad. And do the one-handed thing for now. And oh yeah, look at that. Got to have that ketchup on there. And then of course, I'll move this stuff out of my way. Bring that nice potato salad in here. And put that right on the plate like that. I'm going to have some potato salad with my burger. So there's a nice little meal right there. And we're going to throw that right back on top. And don't forget, we need something to wash it down with. So there we go. I got a fresh beer. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I'll pick this. Oh, look at that. This is what happens when you try and have a burger this size and try to do one-handed. Try and pick the damn thing up without... Like, look. Look how thick that thing is, right? Hey, look at that. Look how that cheese is melting because of that burger on there. Uh, hmm. Damn, look at that. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. You can taste the barbecue sauce, the bacon, and all the spices through there. When you bite into that burger, your your mouth is going to have a party. It's a party in your mouth. And, uh, mmm. I mean, the potato salad's got nice, all kinds of nice spices into it as well, so... Mmm, very good. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to flip the camera around. And, how you all doing? I'm going to eat. I've got my juicy burger with me. My homemade juicy burgers. Ah. Very, very, very good. Like I said, Try it out. Put some bacon into it. If you if you're not into uh, cooking pork bacon, throw some turkey bacon into it too. You can do the same thing with turkey bacon. And put all the spices in. Put an egg in. And put some barbecue sauce in it. And cook it nice and slow. And it'll be the best burger you've ever made in your life. I'll tell you what. It's going to be better than what you what you get at fucking McDonald's or anywhere else. So there we go. Homemade burgers. Can't go wrong with that. Mmm. Very nice. Good. I wish you all could taste this. Mmm. Right. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Like. Share this video out. You know the draw. I'm going to go eat this fantastic food. We'll talk to everybody later. I should say, we will talk to everybody later. Bye for now, and thanks for tuning in. Remember, always stay safe out there.